Item number, SCP-3464, Level 1 Unrestricted, Containment Class Neutralized, Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-3464 are kept in a cold storage unit at Site-201, as instances display no further anomalous properties and no new instances have appeared, containment is focused on the suppression of information about SCP-3464's anomalous nature. Mobile Task Force Delta-13, Undead Bread Redemption, is implanted within Toronto Public Health to assess irregularities in bread production and preparation in the city of Toronto, Canada. Description SCP-3464 was a large quantity of garlic bread disseminated in Toronto food service establishments from April through September 2018. Foundation operatives have presently recovered 449 instances. Each SCP-3464 instance was baked with ingredients typical of garlic bread, such as parsley, mozzarella cheese, and garlic shavings. Instances varied in mass from a 200-gram slice to a 2-kilogram loaf. The anomalous property of each SCP-3464 instance manifested when a restaurant patron received it as part of their meal. After being served, each instance would newly generate garlic bread and expand in size by a factor of 10. Each instance then vocalized for several minutes, with the voice of acclaimed voice actor Don LaFontaine about the negative impacts of food waste. An excerpt from one such vocalization is as follows. In a world where we could have our cake and eat it too, we savored every bite. Now, the stakes have risen and we eat our final meal alone. Every day we face hunger, paranoia, shortage, and the most horrifying struggle of all, sharing. With our final feast fast approaching, we look to you as the last line of defense. Take the bite, or suffer the consequences." Establishments responsible for distributing SCP-3464 typically discovered a loss of organic waste proportional to the amount of generated bread. Patrons consuming the bread were unaware of this. No patrons are recorded to have experienced adverse anomalous effects after consumption. About 15% of these patrons, however, reported feeling pressured against wasting food for the next month. Input Level 3-3464 Security Credentials Credentials Approved Incident 3464-450-Kerala Note On September 27, 2018, the 450th instance of SCP-3464 was discovered in an Olive Garden restaurant in downtown Toronto. A discovery log compiled from the restaurant's surveillance system and testimonies from patrons and Olive Garden staff is as follows. Begin log, 1.26 p.m. Two persons, designated Kerala 1 and 2, wearing grey hooded cloaks enter the restaurant. Thirty patrons are present in various stages of dining. 1.28. An attendant directs the pair to a table near the restaurant's center and offers a menu. They decline. 1.29. K-1 orders a payata. Footnote 1. A dish consisting of the milk-filled intestines of a calf. Seasoned with basil and shredded bay leaves. K-2 orders flame-broiled capretto. Footnote 2. Capretto. Domestic goat meat. Cooked in benzoin oil and seasoned with black pepper and asafoetida spice. The pair also orders sempiternal garlic bread. 139. The attendant returns, with two dishes and a loaf of garlic bread atop a platter. The two dishes, however, do not exist in any Olive Garden restaurant worldwide and contain herbs used in sacrificial rituals. Kitchen surveillance footage reveals the dishes, alongside the bread, spontaneously appeared on a counter in the wait station. The garlic bread is designated as CP-3464-450. 141. K2 moves the dishes to the table's center. With Tabasco sauce, K1 circumscribes the dishes with a thaumaturgical summoning circle and places SCP-3464-450 at its edge. The two dishes, acting as a ritualistic offering to the garlic bread, give off steam and disappear. The bread expands. The table collapses beneath. 142. SCP-3464-450 expands to fill most of the room. 143. Field Thaumaturge Delta-7, a tactical food and safety enforcement operative working with MTF Delta-13 from Site-201, breaches the restaurant and orders patrons to evacuate. Footnote 3. 
Post-incident investigation reveals a third-party Foundation contractor tasked Field Thaumaturge Delta-7 with pursuing K-1 and K-2 for reasons as yet uncertain. K-1 shouts at patrons to consume the garlic bread, and in fear, some comply. 145. SCP-3464-450 radiates a vibrant blue as patrons eat it. 146. Patrons who have consumed the garlic bread, 11 adults and 4 children, collapse. SCP-3464-450 absorbs their Elon Vital Energy, or EVE. Footnote 4. Elon Vital Energy. Fundamental particles generated by all living entities. Unaffected patrons and Olive Garden staff rush outside. FT Delta-7 vocalizes containment incantations. 147. K2 unpockets and unfastens a vial of crimson liquid while uttering Latin incantations. A summoning ritual takes place. FT Delta-7 grabs K2 by the collar but is thrown several meters across the restaurant and into a wall. As she recovers, she identifies her assailant, the body of a collapsed patron under evident necromantic control. Other collapsed patrons animate and stumble through tables and chairs towards FT Delta-7. 149. FT Delta-7 works to prevent civilian injury. With her hands, she generates specific kinetoglyphs. Footnote 5. Kinetoglyphs. Mental and physical effects that occur when an entity performs specific gestures and motions that interact with multiple spatial dimensions simultaneously. And returns Eve to their rightful owners. 151. K2 summons an incorporeal Tartarian entity of unknown typology. 152. The entity manifests within SCP-3464-450. K1 and K2 consume the garlic bread. It is unknown what significance this ritual has. 153. FT Delta-7 is successful in returning 15 patrons to their bodies. As K1 and K2 continue consumption, they convulse and froth at the mouth. 154. After returning the final patron, FT Delta-7 attempts an exorcism to banish the entity. SCP-3464-450 expands into the street, demolishing the building in the process. The instance grows arachnid appendages and releases corrosive olive oil. Civilians flee the scene. 155. To aid in the exorcism, FT Delta-7 sacrifices her own Eve. 2 o'clock. K-1 and K-2 disappear into the garlic bread mass. SCP-3464-450 explodes. Flaming garlic bread showers the Yongandunda Square. End log, 2.01 PM. Closing remarks. A Foundation media cover-up team implanted in Olive Garden is charged with maintaining the guise of SCP-3464 being an elaborate social experiment conducted to raise awareness about food waste. On October 13th, Foundation investigators confirmed SCP-3464 represented the work of Dutch parachef Ignaz Marcus, POI-4312, a known demonologist specializing in demonic cuisine. Ignaz is an Ambrose Restaurants, GOI-116, chef, and rising figure in the North American anomalous restaurant scene. Because of his extensive use of infernal entities, other entities and groups engaging in paranormal manipulation and sabotage have repeatedly targeted him. The hijacking of SCP-3464-450 by an unknown rogue faction is the latest in a string of attacks against Ignaz's cooking. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.